Hello researchers, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to see five to six journals which are uh, uh, no cost, less paid and fast publishing journals. So watch till the end, I'll be covering a lot of uh, subjects like computer science, mathematics, uh, engineering, networking, everything. So please watch till the end so that you will understand how everything works and what, how to consider this, that particular journal for your um, paper, okay, for your uh, research. Okay, so before we proceed, this is my channel. So you can see here all about the research. So please go and watch it. This playlist will help you for each and every stage of your research okay this is the one and if you take the second one which is a scopus unpaid sei so in this playlist you can find a lot of journals as well okay and one more exciting news which i want to tell, tell you everyone is what i'm conducting a webinar on ai enhanced research where i'll be discussing about a lot of ai tools specifically for the researchers that you can use it okay so only few seats left like only 195 seats so i have just created a few minutes back so please if you are really interested you can grab your seat here okay so the link is in the pinned section please go and check that let us dive into the scopus journals okay so the first journal which is science china information sciences which is there since 2010 and it's still in scopus index and i want to give a small disclaimer here that i am discussing this in the month of december 2024 if you are watching this video after um, uh, after two months or three months or probably in the month of March 2025, I request you to please go and recheck it. Not only after two months, even if you are planning to submit your uh, journal, uh, your uh, paper, please recheck, go to the Scopus Index Journal, uh, Scopus database, okay, and check whether this is still indexed in Scopus, fine. So here you can see this is computer science, general computer science. And then if you click here, you can see that this is China, science, China information sciences. This is a hybrid model. So you can see it covers computer science and technology, control science and engineering, information and communication engineering, microelectronics and solid state electronics, quantum information. So here you can see that uh, they haven't mentioned anything about um, the uh, about the cost, which means that if you are op going for open access, okay, then you have to pay some amount. And if you are not going for the open access, then it's free. Once your journal, once your paper is accepted, then they will be publishing it, okay? So published under a faster continuous article publication workflow, fine. So they are um, doing this, um, and if you are you are paper is under the scope you can definitely go and submit your journal here so this is you can find what is the article processing charges author who publish open access if you wanted to go with an open access then you have to pay the apc that is article processing charge and this is the charge for that and if you have any other um, Authors can also choose to publish under the traditional publishing, no APC apply. Okay, both options will be offered for the paper. So, which means that it is free to publish if you don't want open access. So, um, ensure that you are um, you are just making your paper, your uh, paper which you are planning to submit in a proper way that really this particular journal will accept. So how to do that? You can just go ahead and check for the previously published paper, which are open access, and then try to understand how they have uh, framed their paper. Okay, so we are in the second journal, which is engineer science. Okay, again, I wanted to re-insist that I am conducting this webinar specifically exclusively for the PhD and also the researchers. That is, I'll be discussing about few important uh, tools and also I'll tell you how to write the prompts for that particular to um, get your research done even more effectively. So you can just click here to grab your seat. OK, so we are in the second journal, which is like engineered science. This is since 2018 and they are covering mathematics, engineering, general engineering, energy, power, technology, chemistry and computer science, material science, chemistry, miscellaneous. So this is the engineered science, you can find it here. And here they have like, they have the charges, you have to pay the charges, but you can just request for the wave off. Okay, so that is the additional one here. So you can just check for the fee uh, or the, yeah. So this the, they are the articles accepted for publication will be charged one time article processing fee. Okay, and if you want any wave off, you can just apply uh, here. 
before that let's just understand what is this engineered science is all about so here you can see um, there are a lot of uh, things as well so in the engineered science you can find um, about this okay so these are the various articles they are accepting okay and these are the article types and they have special issues as well they are in the scopus as well so for the authors you can see what are the guidelines and how you should be ready with the content make sure that if you want to apply for article uh, wave off though so you can do it here so i have already explained about how to apply for the article wave off here so here if you just go and search for wave off you can um, you can find it okay so just search for wave off okay um letter to the editor okay to you can write the letter to the editor to wave off your apc charges so yes um and what is the article publication charges like if sometimes if they are accepting it uh, the, this and what is the basic uh, article applic um, uh, like article processing charges they uh, you will be announced uh, on that okay you will be informed for that so the next is big data mining and analytics so here you can see computer science computer networks and communication computer science it's completely about the computer science and once if you click here you can find this is the third one okay we are talking about the third uh, journal here you can see that it's a four issues per year and this is the impact factor and what is the aim and scope you can find it from here and they haven't mentioned ab anything about the uh, anything about the charges okay publication charges which means that they are processing the open access okay if you wanted to go ahead with the open access policy then you have to pay the open access uh, open access cost here okay so other than that how many issues they are uh, going with like how many issues issues they are publishing every year if you want to understand that just click on the all issues so that you will know uh, on 2023 they have published nearly four issues which means that four issues a year likewise you have to check how many issues they are publishing each and every journal and of course we are discussing all the journals which are uh, fast publication okay and this is the open access policy and the payment for big data mining and analytics so peer reviewed literature is freely available without subscription or the price barriers what is the open access policy they have discussed about it and they have to pay the open access fee is subsidized, uh, subsidized open access via tup pays for the publishing cost incurred by the journal okay so authors do not have to pay any article processing charges great so authors do not need to pay for any article processing charges here which means that there is no charges for this you can try to submit this is an ieee explore and uh, talking about the fourth journal which is international journal of distance education technology so this is um, they cover social sciences computer science computer science and application and it's there uh, since 20 2003 okay you can see here they are in uh, since 2003 and they have like article processing charges is 2050 dollar sometimes in the uh, few universities you know they will provide scholarship for the uh, scholars and a few scholars will be getting the scholarship from any funded uh, uh, resources or if you are co-authoring with someone you can also get uh, share the fund or else here they you can apply for your Uh, apply for your wave off okay so this is the article processing charges and if you wanted to apply for the wave off you can apply uh, through the contact okay you can submit the uh, applic um, like you can send an email for the wave off so i have given the wave off applic complete letter here in this particular uh, video you can find it i'll also share the video link in the description so we are seeing the fifth journal here which is iranian journal of fuzzy system so here they cover mathematics decision sciences computer sciences and computer artificial intelligence so this is iranian journal so it's a two monthly um, uh, and it aims to international forum referred by these things everything and this is a q1 journal okay and you can find um you can find more about it that is the last um last year they have issued uh, they have published six issues and one is a invited paper and you can see there are well, there is only six issues per year they are publishing okay which means that bi monthly like uh, two or uh, twice uh, sorry um once in two months okay so this is the guide for the author you can see if you want to know more about it you can see here and i have this frequently asked question about this particular journal i didn't see any uh, publication cost here okay so it's actually they have mentioned like it's a free of cost okay uh, 
you can find all these things here and in the Q&A section you also you can see they are taking only two months uh, from the data it takes more than okay the, it, it usually takes two more than two months from the date of submission um, review process they will take okay if really uh, if your paper is um, um, uh, if if like the like the reje rejection status will be informed soon okay but if your paper is still uh, for a review they will take more than two months so this is what and finally to talk about is what indonesian journal of science and technology i'm again insisting on the webinar which is happening on um, 11th of january which is on sunday at 11 a.m so um, i'll be discussing about the tools and the um, prompts which you should use it here okay so indonesian journal uh, here they cover earth and planetary engineering general engineering chemical engineering and computer science so you can see here this is the indonesian journal they are uh, i am just talking about and you can find how many issues per year they are just releasing and you can also see here that uh, they have open uh, like you have to pay an article processing fee here so this is the complete uh, overview okay overview like how many days it will take and everything and the article the um, uh, you have to pay 500 usd per article okay if your paper is accepted then you have to pay 500 uh, uh, usd per article so beyond this you should be aware of like whenever you are submitting your journal please go and first recheck in the scopus index uh, scopus database second thing is you have to check whether it is still in scopus third is whether your paper is uh, under the scope of that particular journal your research fourth one is what is the cost how many days they are taking is the fifth one and the sixth is with progression policy seventh is your article complete authors author instructions and everything okay and also if you have any if they have any frequently asked questions or anything please go and check that okay uh, yes, that's all about the today's session, uh, today's video. We will look, uh, like we will discuss about more journals in the uh, future videos. So please go and check this one, which will be useful for you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a great day.